Hello, GCS. Welcome to episode 19 of podcast. Today, we have ASB members joining us. Priska, our vice president, and Emily, our president. Thank you so much for inviting us to this podcast. Um, so I'll introduce myself. I'm Emily's son. I am a junior, and I am your ASB president. Woo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Priska. I am a sophomore. I am your vice president. Woohoo! Yay! Hi, I am Paul and I'm in year seven. And I'm Kaylin. Yeah! I, oh, oh no. no, wait! And I'm the host, Jason. Woo! Jason! So, uh, we prepared questions for you to know you more. Let's move on to the first question. Uh, whose idea was the voice fishing? Um, so do you want to? Yeah, sure. So the vo the idea of voice fishing or the box itself came from Emily. She wanted to find a way to, um, yeah, basically um, get ideas from the students because we haven't been able to do that the previous years. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I realized that a lot of what ASB did previously was just the ASB members ourselves, we just decided, oh, I think the kids would like this the best. And we just went with it. And I realized that we actually need to hear the kids' voices. And we decided, let's do a box. But the voice fishing itself, it was a idea from Caleb, the name, the our secretary, voice fishing. And we're like, oh, that's so cute, like voice fishing. I think like, it's oh. really oh, creative. It's yeah. mm -hmm. a very creative way. And then Peter suddenly drew the like hook, the hook, and, and we're it like, was perfectly <sighs> positioned. We we're like, oh, that's that's what that, our logo thing is gonna be. And we realized yeah. <laughs> teamwork makes a dream work, and it's perfect <laughs> having this ASB members with us. And I'm so grateful for our members around mm -hmm. us. Mm. Yay! Okay, so this question is for both of you. How long have you been in JCS? Well, I <laughs> am okay. what you call a first Avenger. I am here since. 2015 February. Wow. So I am so one old. of the first <laughs> one of the first students here and I remember at the time we had like 14 students and yeah, it was a very small school. We knew everybody's names and it was so small we could go on field trips every Friday. That's so lucky. <laughs> it was that small. But and yeah. Friska? Yes, I have been here since the summer of 2019 uh, when I started 8th grade is when I joined, um, yeah. And it's been around two and a half years, I think, give or take, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the most dramatic things that you can't forget uh, that you have encountered in JCS? Oh, hmm. that's a good question. Events Emily can answer. I can answer? You've well, been here I've been here pretty yeah. long. Um, uh, oh, there are many incidents in JCS. <laughs> A lot of them. <laughs> Somehow, I always seem to be getting hurt. Yeah, it's... A lot of them. One incident. <laughs> it kind of feels weird because Dr. Lee's right there. But there was a <laughs> drone incident. <laughs> a drone? <laughs> a drone incident. Exactly. Oh, where gosh. Um, there was a sports day happening. And the, final, the finale, there was supposed to be a photo taken with the drone. video taken. The drone was supposed to go towards us and then fly up. And that was a video of us saying, bye. And then the drone was out of battery. So it wasn't, I guess, connecting well to the remote. So instead of going towards up and up and going upwards towards the sky, it went straight towards me. <laughs> and yeah. to Aww. defend my face, I put my hand there. So my hand got scratched up. And now I have a fear of drones. <laughs> that is one dramatic incident that took place in JCS. Okay, now, what hobbies do you own, Friska? Me, um, uh, I think I have had a lot of hobbies over the years, but the most recent one that I've had is doing nail art. Um, I think if you guys were here over the summer for... Summer. Um, I mean, oh, the winter for Moana, you guys might have seen me rocking some pretty cute nails. So cute. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy doing nail art, um... 
Yeah, I think it's it's a fun way to express yourself. And she's really good at them. <laughs> Honestly, oh. people mistake. I have gotten my nails done by her. People oh. mistaken it as me going to a nail salon and Thank doing it. You. Wow. So she's really good at it. And like, yeah, you'll yeah, see I some tr- on her try Instagram my too. <laughs> I try my best. This question is both of you. Uh, what is your favorite and least favorite subject in JCS? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll start. My favorite subject is, I think it's a tie between math and science, actually. I really enjoy learning about, especially like um, biology and learning about the world and um, things that are, that are applied today. My least favorite subjects are, sorry, Mr. John, English and history. I'm not very strong in history. It's not super interesting to me. Um, I, I'm sorry, Mr. John, once again, but yes. Uh, for me, I'm so surprised it's very similar. I l- love science. Um, so m- my favorite subject is biology. And I really enjoy having an AP biology class um, from the same thing. But not towards Mr. John. I, <laughs> r- <laughs> sorry. But I enjoyed Mr. John's world history class. But I, didn't, I don't enjoy the AP world history as much. It's very time consuming. It's very time consuming and I'm not as interested. I prefer to learn about the human body and different chemical reactions and yeah, rather than learning about past Old wars. Old white men. Hmm. <laughs> so, but, but yeah, so I guess history is not our strong suit. Definitely not. Uh, do you own any pets or do you want to own them? Is there a specific reason? Oh, uh, I'll start. I in our house there are lots of animals. <laughs> there are a f- we have three I think carp. They're fish, and that's because my brother really wanted mm. a pet, so we got him fish. But he does not take care of them. Oh. That is the job of my dad. Suddenly, very mm. weird. We also have the school goldfish that is sick within <laughs> our house right now. Um, for me, I have a pet dog, a Maltese, and he is. Right now, how old is he? <gasps> but he, no, he, 2015. He's pretty old, I just realized. Oh, so, so he's like seven, seven years dog. old. Oh. But oh. I had first gotten him because when I first came to Korea, I wasn't adjusting very well. So I had him as a gift for Children's Day so I won't be lonely. Oh, That's yeah. Nice. Wait, that was my birthday present. I mean, oh, really? No, not my mine dog i got my dog that way too yeah Aww. so i guess out of loneliness comes a Aww. companion yeah it's good Aww. and like a bit of bittersweet but it's nice to have my dog with me mm. yeah uh i i think before i used to be a dog person so i haven't i don't have a pet right now but if i were to choose a pet i think before i would have chosen a dog as well um now i have interacted with a cat miss pauline's cat and wow. She she doesn't like me very much, Aww. but I um, realized that cats are also really nice pets. They're super chill, and some the way that they loaf is so adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. so. I think uh, I would want a cat now. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what is the thing you would do first when you become an adult? Oh, <laughs> what I mean. The first oh thing no, it's so sad. When I become an adult, you're just reminding us of how old we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I I want to quickly learn how to drive because really? oh. the thing is, one of my dreams is to go on a road trip with friends oh, because too. I really want to go through like, um, I don't know, maybe the Grand Canyon and then see go camping ish style. Like with Have you been there before, Grand um, Canyon? I, Ooh, now that's a question that you have to ask my mother because they've mm-hmm. gone, my parents have gone to places and then they're like, you went there. No way. Oh yeah, you weren't born then. Okay. Or like, oh, you were a baby then. So I have no memory of Grand Canyon, but I really like to, I don't like nature itself as much because I can't do bugs. No bugs for me. Oh. But I really like mm-hmm. the stars. So I would like to go like a glamping Star feel. Stargazing maybe? Yeah, with friends. and But my dad says no because he says that if you go road tripping with your friends be a very good driver or you could yeah. go into an accident because you're having too much fun so i'll probably want to get my driver's license first Whoa. i would definitely not want my driver's license <laughs> first um i would probably get my ears pierced as soon as i become an adult because what? one rule that my mom actually wow. has on our family is that i can only get my ears pierced once i'm an adult once i'm an adult 
Um, so once I become 18, I'm gonna get my ears pierced right away. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what is the wildest or weirdest suggestion you have received in your ASB voice fishing? Oh, we should <laughs> say the most common one we receive. That is building a slide from the third floor to the second floor. <laughs> I we don't know if we can do that. And, and the person will remain anonymous. Yes, uh, of course, anonymous. Um, this is anonymous, but it's from just this class. It's not just one person, actually. It's like, oh, multiple four of them. people oh. from this class. I don't, under, I don't think they understand that ASB has no power over building construction oh. work <laughs> and the interior um, of our school, and we don't even have that much money. Guys, if you want uh, yes. us to do that, maybe give us more money. Actually, no, we can't actually <laughs> do that. But yeah, that's the oh. Since we said no slide, they started to change it to a pool. Yeah. Like they want a fire, like a fire firefighter fire. Po- pool. Oh. We can't do that either. Sorry, but uh, sorry to break it to you. We uh, don't have the resources, the money, or the power to do that. You might want to <laughs> take that to Doctor uh, Lee. Doctor Lee. Yeah. Okay, well, also be kind of dangerous. That's also and true. And everything and going down a slide or Exactly. Yeah, just take that to Dr. Lee. Just don't bother us with that <laughs> question anymore, please. Uh, what is your MBTI? Is, is there a specific reason you think uh, this came out from the research? Hmm, uh, I, th- act- I think my MBTI is INFJ. I'm not 100% sure. Yes. Um... It's the same. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god, we're the same person. That's so cool. But um, yeah, I I I don't think there's a particular reason why I have that M- MBTI. But yeah, it's good um, that I have the same one as Jason. <laughs> yeah, I am an ESFJ, and I I kind of agree with it to a certain extent because I am an extrovert too, and a lot of the personality traits is that um, that ESFJ. Jay's like interacting with people and they're also a bit people pleasers, which is a trait of <laughs> mine. Although it's sometimes good, it's sometimes not good and very self-conscious on that. But I think it's pretty accurate. And I think one thing we can learn from MBTIs is rather than just following it fully, it's that if there are things that we need to work on, those can be just reminders of that and be like, oh, it's not, that's something we can't change. We can work towards changing ourselves to be a better person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you two play any instruments? Oh. Instruments. <laughs> I play zero instruments. I would love to learn an instrument. If I were to learn an instrument, I probably want to play the drums. Oh. Um, yeah, I. But probably I it's probably pretty can't. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. I probably can't learn the drums anytime soon though. But I would love to do it once in my life. Yeah. Cool. Uh, for me, I used to play the violin, the guitar both of those and more currently oh I also played the cajon for our school worship team long time ago nice. I also yeah. do drums but then I haven't played it in a while so I'm not sure if I'm actually good anymore but then I did used to play mm-hmm. okay have you taken up any other ASB roles besides the ones that are current which is vice president and president um, I was previously the public relations manager. That meant I was designing most of the posters and making the event game materials, as in if we had the mafia game, we had cards. I had designed those and stuff like that. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. And last year, I was also treasurer. So I was ha- um, handling the finances. Um, pretty much that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is your personal favorite teacher that you uh, used to like, who never changed from before? So, favorite teacher of our school right now? For me, I think it's Mr. Lee, because um, he was my homeroom teacher for like, I think two years or something, but then um, even now I go to him often if I have any problems, and he's very supportive, and he understands my personality pretty well, and he's been helpful, like, in math itself, but also in, like, emotional life. support. Like, life. Yeah. Literally, it's he really good gives so him, much. I don't know him very well. Mm. Oh, but <laughs> when you're older and you're in high school, go to Mr. Lee if you need, like, emotional support or stuff like mm. that, because he's... Always willing to provide always that. Always willing to provide that. It's not that he's an 
emotional, emotional person, but he's able to counsel you very well. And I think mm-hmm. that makes me think of him as one of my favorite teachers. Uh, uh, as for me, I don't think I have a favorite teacher. Dude, you're throwing me under the bus I'm like so that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I, of course, appreciate all the teachers at JCS, and I don't really want to like give one name. <laughs> Maybe if Dude, you had to choose. If I had to ch- I, I might be like a chief way, but I guess Miss Pauline <laughs> and Mr. John and Miss Stephanie since they are She's my family. Really <laughs> so, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. That's, yeah. So, uh, is there any least favorite teacher <laughs> in this? <laughs> yes? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'll keep it simple. Oh, no. Really kind. I will also say no. Which is a fact. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> they're all lovely. We're not lying. No, we <laughs> do not have any least favorite teachers. Why did you choose to be the role that you're like in in ASB right now, which is president and vice president again? Hmm. Um, I think since last year I was treasurer, I wanted to take on some more responsibilities. And I uh, chose vice president because... A, I don't think I can handle the responsibility of being president, first of all. And B, I wanted to become a support system for the whole ASB um, and just be able to balance out the work of ASB. Mm-hmm. Mm, for me, I wanted to be president because I wanted to do more things, as in I wanted to implement more activities and give more ideas on events and make things possible. I like to keep things organized. So I wanted to be able to organize those events and be able to implement things like the voice fishing and opportunities arose arise more easily if you're president for you to try mm-hmm. to listen to the students more. And I'm just really honored to be the ASB president because... Really, everything I've dreamed of kind of is happening currently. So, wow, I'm very grateful oh. for this <laughs> opportunity. Uh, is there anything in the school that you're proud of, and something you think the school needs to put more effort in? Oh, uh, oh, uh, um, I'll start. Then. Yeah. Um, I'll say one thing I'm very proud of for the school is our school musicals. Um, mm, I yeah. love doing musicals, and I think it's a great thing that our school even though we are a small school in comparison to other schools we put on these big shows a lot of effort goes into it and a lot of the students who join they give it their all and it allows us to expand our artistic talents more which i really enjoy one thing our school could work on is maybe wi-fi on the second floor (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, sorry for that jab but the wi-fi doesn't work as well (laughs) um for me, I am really proud of the community that's that we have at JCS. Because we are a smaller school, it's inevitable that we all know each other. And I'm really glad that um, we are all on good terms, I hope. And the, the love that I first felt when I came here was really genuine. And I'm so glad Aww. that we still have that now. Um, one thing that JCS can work on is... He- heating because I'm always cold. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's a you thingy because maybe you're cold everywhere. Everywhere yeah, we go. I swear the AP room is like always five degrees colder than everywhere else. But there, we literally uh, got a heater in there so now. Cold. I am. Anyways, that's <laughs> my only one complaint. Okay. I think that's it for today. Uh, thank you, Prisca and Emily. We will be back next week. Woo! Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.